Hey guys and ladies, I just purchased a new charge controller, the Pro Star 30 by Morningstar, and I want to do an unboxing of it. The reason why I purchased this charge controller is because I recently purchased 355 watt solar panels, and I'm going to be hooking those up in parallel, so I'm going to end up having 9.3 amps on average, and my old charge controller could only handle 10 amps, so it was fairly close, so I needed something that could handle the increase in amps. And just to give a couple of features of this, uh, the electrical protections, it has a short circuit protection, overload, reverse polarity, reverse current at night, and high voltage disconnect, uh, high temperature disconnect, and it has loads protected from voltage spikes and it has an automatic recovery with all protections. Uh, this charge controller probably cost me uh, about a hundred and sixty dollars um, it usually runs for maybe 200 plus or 223 from the site I'm looking at and um, it has a ton of features too many for me to even list in this video I will try to get a give a link to it but anyway back to the unboxing as you can see you have a couple of manuals uh, I really would recommend looking over those because you definitely want to know um, if a light starts blinking, what does that mean? So, in a way, we just have some screws, again, some manuals, uh, some products that they sell. And now getting to the actual charge controller. So, just a little side comparison here. Uh, it does have a heat sink on the back of it. It has some terminals on the bottom of it where you're going to screw in all your connections. Seems to have some vents on the top of it. So just a little closer view, you can see here we have the battery volt, solar amps, and load amps. These do display on a digital meter. Uh, they do have two versions of this controller. One has the digital meter, one doesn't. It also has the battery status, if it's full, if it's halfway full, if it needs to be charged. It has a temperature sensor for the battery as well. And it also allows you to select what type of battery you're using. So this, again, has too many features for me to list here I, I definitely just provide a link for you if you want to look at that but again here another important feature is that you can use a uh, 12 volt batteries or a 20 volt 24 volt system so I really like how this charge controller works and all the features that it has and in an upcoming video I will be hooking up my solar system to this charge controller so you get an idea of how it works and I also will be producing more solo videos this week. Probably try to wrap that up before I go back to school. So, again, look forward to that. And, again, just thank you for viewing. And I will definitely see you next time. And please subscribe.